Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We've had a nice little break. I think we're safe from the dinosaurs for a minute, so let's go back and have another go with them. Saddles. I need 250 wood, so I don't actually need very much. So there's the two, there's 249. There. That's all of the timber. We need 850 hides. Now that is going to take quite a bit of doing. I'm going to leave that timber behind. I'm going to take 66 pieces of timber with me. And we'll go and unload a load of this stuff a minute into our house. So that we can then take Jamie and we're going to go on a killing spree. It's going to have to be, well, I don't know if it's like our very next thing. But it's going to have to be one of the things that we do pretty soon. Uh, right, well, let's, let's drop the stone in there. And also the flint. That egg. We'll eat the egg. Pelt right here. Thick piece of skin densely covered with heavy insulating fur. Carefully hacked from a dead animal. Well, we'll keep that. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that. I thought it was feathers to start with. That's why I was keeping hold of it. But um, no, it's not feathers. That right there, that um, you, you extract your own blood and then you can use it later as a, as a health boost if you're in combat. It's actually a really useful item to have. It's just that I don't think we've got any use for it at the moment. So we've got 47 arrows there. I'll leave them behind. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that we'll go. We'll just go with spears. All right, if, if we go with them rather than going with the arrows. Well, I suppose we could use arrows. We've got 47 arrows. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with arrows. We'll, we'll go with standard arrows on this. This little run down through here. So I'll leave behind... Uh, yeah, I will. I will leave behind the timber. Just like that. Right. Now. It's getting dark. The moon is busy. You know what? I think we should wait until day breaks before we start going off and doing all of our hunting. I will just... Let's, let's just check on some of these. So you've leveled up there. I'm going to... Uh, let's, let's access your inventory and we'll level you up. You got two points. Uh... I want you to go faster so that you can keep up with me. If I want to take you off somewhere so that I can get a whole load of stuff, I want you to be able to run fast to keep up with me. Michael, over here, access your inventory. Uh, we'll give you yet more carry weight. And then Dante, right here, access inventory. He's got four level up points. His health is 2,300. He's fairly slow. Food, oxygen... Movement speed is not very good. Like, I get a 1% bonus on that. Three. Two, three. Like that. There, I'm going to do that. I'm going to improve his carry weight until his carry weight is just phenomenal. I don't think... The, the movement speed is a waste of time on him. Right, I wasted a point doing that. Uh, the dodos, I'm, I'm not even going to worry about them. There's the chest all the way up there. So it's going to take a while before the chest gets down there. And that's fine. We don't mind that. It's getting near the end of the night. So you can see all the chests coming down. When you're playing on a public server, you've got to fight everybody else with these chests. And that's the bit that I don't really like about it. But look at this. Look at our forge. That looks very cool, that does. Dawn is breaking. You can see it over there. Far side of the sky. Let's go to Jamie. He is actually just about ready to level up. But look in here. 659.2. He's, he's literally right on the edge of leveling up. We're going to give him more carry weight. He has got a phenomenal amount of meat on him. And there we go. We've leveled up again. So I'm going to... See, that's only one kilo on it. 95. We're carrying 95 at the moment. He is going to be getting a absolute load of meat. So I'm just going to dump all of this on the ground. So he's down to 84. I'll dump that on the ground as well. The berries, they can go. We dump those. And I'm carrying those. Right, they're actually quite heavy. Arrows arrows are heavier than I thought they they were. I'm also carrying a truncheon. That's two. Hmm. Let's not worry about it too much. Let's, let's, let's not read into it too much. We want to go and we want to get some hides. There is a chest down there. Which we are going to go and get. 
There is a large Brontosaurus type thing over there, a Diplodocus, which we could go for if we wanted to. Leap him over this way. He should be alright. He's pooping in the water. I'm going to, because he won't follow us at the moment. I'm going to leave him right there, and I'm going to go over, and I'm going to have a look at this one. This is access inventory in here. We've got two beds. We've got two fires. We've got a little bit of... Sp no, there is nothing in there that I want whatsoever. There is literally nothing in there of value to me at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Jamie over there, because I'm worried that he's going to cause me problems, and I'm going to try and take that thing down from over here. I got him. Now what's he going to do? Is he going to come after me or is he going to run away? I need to be aiming slightly above him. There. He's, he's coming right for me. He is not happy. He is definitely not happy. But he's already taking a large amount of damage. And that's what you got to steer clear of is that tail there and he's down killed the brontosaurus and he has gone right into the river look at this look at him right across there that is fantastic okay i, I, I need to go and have a look i, I know that there's a risk that the the other creatures will come after him but look 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 at that kill that is brilliant okay let's chop him up we need to chop him up. Uh, no, I don't want to pick. I want that one. Let's go for it. That is a lot of ketchup. Like, seriously, that is a lot of ketchup. Now, what we're picking up here, you can see that raw prime meat. Prime meat is a thing that you can use for taming carnivores and taming them very, very fast. Right? This stuff right here. It lasts for about two minutes. It's, it doesn't last very long at all um, you don't pick it up very quickly but when it comes to taming carnivores it is the thing that you want to get if you can use that for taming a carnivore it's absolutely spot-on perfect so I'm gonna go there and I give Jamie all of this raw prime meat I don't know if it actually turns into spoiled stuff or not and I'm gonna leave another stack of that and then I'm gonna come off of that uh, I'm going to go back into my inventory over here, and then I'm going to dump all the rest of that meat on the floor. I got no need for it whatsoever. There, dump it all. We got 272 hides off of that. So, Jamie, are you going to eat that? I don't think he does. Like, his food is pretty low, but the thing is, the food value on that is quite high. Um... It's unhealthy. This excellent cut spoils very quickly. Most wild carnivores love this meat. Now, you see how quickly it's spoiling. You know what I want to do? I want to go up here a minute. And I want to access this inventory here. And I want to take one of those. Okay, I got both of them. I'll go like that. And I'm going to bring that one back down here. No, not like that. I'm just going to go number eight, and I'm going to drop that one down there. I'm going to go number eight, because i got another one, and I'm going to put that one over there, like that. And, and I'm going to go back over to this one. No. Go over to this one. Access inventory in here. You know what I forgot to do. Access inventory. Right, there's the prime meat. We'll take three cuts of prime meat. Now, I don't know what the, the cooked prime meat is like. So, access the inventory in here and um, dump that into there. So, wood or thatch. I can use thatch in here. There, like that. Light fire. Can I cook prime meat? I have absolutely no clue if it will allow me to cook the prime meat or not. So we're going to just hang around just for a minute and we're going to see if it will let us cook it. Uh, you, Mr. Jamie, are you eating the prime meat? See, it's got all that, like there. It's um, the spoil timer. When you put the food into the animal's container, it lasts a lot longer. And then I got you over there 
Why are you running around like a lunatic? I'm not quite sure what's going on with him. Why he's running around like a lunatic. But ah, there, look. We've got um, pr cooked prime meat right here. Let me put that one in there. So that one can cook up as well. And in the meantime, I'm going to go to here and... Right, so my food is 58.3. We go like that, and I'm going to consume one of those. See how much my hunger bar has just gone up with getting a little bit of that prime meat in me. Jamie, what are you doing? Hey! Honestly, dude. You don't need to be doing stuff like that. Just, you, you, you keep out of it. Right, now that is the, the spoil timer. So that put me up to 93.2. I'm going to go there a minute. I'm going to consume one of them. And it went from 93 up to 113. So that gave me 20 points. And then I go with this one and I consume 113 up to uh, 148. So that was actually a 11. That was actually 35 points. So the cooked prime meat is a much better option. If you can get a bit of cooked prime meat, go with that. It is pretty good. And it does last for a, a few minutes. So. Now I want to have a look into you and your inventory. I can take two more of these. Take that one. And I will take that one right there. And then we will run back down here. And we'll go back to the fire access inventory. And we'll drop those two in. And we'll start cooking them. And then you right here. I'm going to eat that one up. That should put my hunger all the way back up to maximum. Like that. And then you can stop right so, yeah, I don't really care about the rest of it. We've got so much meat and everything here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, go to number six, like that. And I've got a little dilo there. Killed a Dilophosaur. Very easily. I don't get the arrow back. I thought I might. Right, well, I don't want to drag the body anywhere. I just want to hack it up so that I can get the hides. That's what I'm after here, is hides. Now, if I just have my hatchet... And you go along to the dodo, and that's an instant kill with a few more hides on it. It's very, very bright out here, isn't it? Let's let's turn the gamma down a little bit, shall we? Yeah, that's better. Have we got any more creatures running around? There's another dodo over there. We will take that one out. Hello! He's such a trusting little fellow, isn't he? That was his mistake. That simple trust that he put in me was his undoing. I know. I sound wretched, don't I? I sound absolutely wretched and horrid. I really do. You. Wow. I did not expect it to one shot. I can drag the body as well. I don't want to. Right. A robot... That gets me electronics and oils and, and stuff like that, which is actually pretty cool. And then I go with that, and boom. <laughs> nice shot. Okay, right. Let's go and get that one. There. Right, there's a lot of, that's a nice lot of hide that we got off of that. And I want to have a look back in here. So off of that other one, we got scrap metal resource. Uh, can be refined in a forge. Oh, that's fantastic. We've got element dust. Okay, I have no idea what we do with that. Now, then we got some oil and we got some electronics. Okay, there's loads of stuff here that I have, I have absolutely no idea about. I've got no clue what I'm supposed to do with it. Not the foggiest, but I do now have 400 and... Excuse me. 414 of these items now. Jamie is still stood there like a good boy. Uh, we will wander back down here and we go to access inventory on the campfire. There's our thatch burning up. I got those two. Uh, just wondering if I... Let's, let's put out the fire for now. Access inventory. I, I, I'll take that back. There. Right, so I've, 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 got a, I've got a bit of food. A little bit of food. We've we got stuff enough to keep us going for a bit. So the robots, you go and kill the robots and you get a load of stuff off of them. 
oil and stuff like that. So we'll leave Jamie where he is for a minute. And we still want to be going hunting. I want Larger prey would be useful. Maybe I'll take Jamie with me. Ah! There's larger prey. There's a piece of larger prey. We'll take that one down. We get keratin off of these. Um, but it's not just keratin that we're going for. These things are tanks, right? They are genuine tanks. And it's a level 37 as well. So they're actually really, really cool when it comes to carrying stuff around for you as well. You can carry a load of heavy... I mean, yes, we got the Diplodocus now, so uh, that's, that's a much better option. But they, they, they can be very useful. So we've got hides. We've got uh, 85 hides. We've got a little bit of keratin. We've got some raw meat as well. Uh, we, we could use all of the above. How should we do this? Hang on. Right, Jamie, let's have a look and see what you've got on you. So you've got 20 of them. Right, he's, he's got 24. Uh, I'm going to dump that on the floor. The rest of it, I'm going to hold on to. Thinking? Have a look at my inventory. I'm 72. Right. I can still ride him around. Okay, this is good. Let's, let's go hunting, Jamie. We're going to go and find some more prey. I got another level up, so I'll just put that one onto there. So we've got an extra bit of movement speed. I'm going to increase our movement speed a little bit, I think. It'd be quite handy to be able to run around on foot. And yeah, I know it's a fairly slow process with increasing movement speed, but I, I still think it's going to be all right. Trilobite. We'll have you. I think we'll add you just because you're, you're an oil supply. And wow. It's a tough custom. Level 11. Still a tough, tough, tough customer. He is. Right, 11 oil, 60 chitin. We got... How much? 13 raw meat from him as well. We got black pearls. I don't know if black pearls are actually, like, really super valuable or not. No idea about that. I know the silica stuff is... That is something that we want. But whether it's, again, super valuable or... You know, otherwise, uh, 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 I'm not really sure. Let me get you. It was a level 26 dodo there. We got 31 pieces of hide from, I'm assuming, was a fairly big dodo if he's giving us 31 pieces of hide. Um, bite to eat. And I'm going to go over to you and let's see how we do against. Oh, wait. No! No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm really, really sorry. No, I don't. No, no, no. Okay. I'm no longer sorry. I'm no longer sorry. I no longer regret it. I have no regrets. I did everything I meant. I did, I did everything I wanted to do. I lived my life without regrets. Uh, what do we got here? What is that? See, I see it floating around. There's jellyfish down there. I didn't even know there were jellyfish in this game, to be honest. But there are jellyfish down there. We'll leave those jellyfish. And we will continue up this way. So there's there's plenty more Carbonimus. There's a trike up there. We might be able to get a bit of um, something from a trike. I might shoot it first. Oh, it's you that's walking around. I wonder what it was that was doing all the walking. I can hear lots and lots of walking, but we'll dump this lot onto the ground a minute. I don't want that meat. Uh, rest of it we'll hold on to. We'll keep going up this way. So we'll... Oh, wait. Uh, what do I want to repair that one? Right there. Actually, I'm going to have to go this way, aren't I? Right there. Uh, flint and wood. All right, fine. I'll take that. Well, there's 38 pieces of timber, just from that, and there's 13 pieces of flint. That ought to be enough. There we go. Right, I'll make that one, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to this one. Regular arrows, rather than um, other arrows, and we're going for the trike. That trike is not happy. Really not happy. Really not happy. Let's see if we can run round the Carbonimus a minute. Ah! 
Okay, uh, you, you know what? You know what? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm running backwards here. Ah. I'm wondering if that was actually the way that I was supposed to do that. Like, run run backwards like that and, and, and not do anything else. Because, I mean, it worked. It's, it's just... I don't know. It, it didn't necessarily feel like it was the, the best way to do it. 78 hide from that one. That's not bad. Let's, let's use some more arrows up. These are these are weighting us down a bit. Yeah. Come on, Carbonimus. I am the ultimate marksman. Right on the nose. Look at that. Well, she is right through the eye almost. Um, but still, it was a very good shot. It was a very good... You know, there is a lot of ketchup in this game. There is a huge amount of ketchup in this I'm not sure that we really need to have that much graphic ketchup. That is another reason that I've sort of held off playing this game for quite a while. Was the sheer quantity of ketchup in the game. Um, I, I just didn't think it was necessary. Right, we go movement speed again. We will, we'll add a little bit more to that. We're going to get airborne at some point. That's another thing we're going to do. Airborne is definitely something else that we're planning to do. Quite when we go and do this, I don't really know. I'm going to take that one. And I'm going to see if I can bring... Oh, wow. Okay. One shot. Missed. Fine. All right. Well, in which case, we'll, we'll deal with Tyranno in a minute. 34 hides. And then I will go like that. And... Kapow, there's a Dilo down. I need to go back and get our um, ever faithful companion. He's, he's left behind at the moment. So let's see how long it takes to bring down a trike with a bow and arrow only. Oh. It's going to take a fair bit longer than I initially thought because... Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm able to do the repair work on it. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's stuck on the rock. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, if he's stuck down there, I can do it like this. Um, That was quicker than I thought it would be. I didn't actually think that I would take him out that far, but then he's only a level two. Being only a level two, it does does make a difference. Oh, what else? Uh, there's, a, there's another Dilo there. You, come here. There. Right, there's a... Right, there's thatch, there's the raw meat, and I, I, I broke my, my, um, my primitive um, hatchet. So let's repair that one a minute. There. And then harvest that one. Right, I've, I've gone through and I've harvested just about everything. Ooh. I don't know if there's anything significant about that, but I'm liking the pretty colours. Let's let's go over and see it. Yes, admittedly, the whole piranha thing is is not necessarily very good. I'm hoping that we can ignore the piranha thing. It's pushing me through the water. He's, he's nudging me along. We we do we we have fairly high endurance levels. Just wondering if our little... There, look, look at this thing. Look at it. Look at the colours. He's only a level two. Sabertooth Salmon. And also Psychotic Piranhas. But yeah, he's, he's only a level two. It's just he happens to be that colour, I think. That's pretty cool. Right, you are... I don't know what a 1.1 times is, but... Um, right, there's a... Oh, you don't get any hides from them. You just get the raw fish. And then this dude over here... Uh, a, a Lystrosaurus. Um, it's, it's, it literally, for me at the moment, life is just a bloodbath. That's, that's all we're doing, really, is we're just rushing around, slaughtering everything that moves... Grabbing meats and hides. Look, there's another one there. It's like a giant mole. Some sort of mole rat type creature. And then you right there. I don't know what you are. There. Oh, that's a, that's, that's a moss chops. 
70 odd on those. Got anything else that's going to come for me? Wild male carbonimus is there. My spears do not last very long. We'll, we'll just use this one and we'll chop him up with this. I think I've got one behind me as well. Yes, I do. You know what? I'm going to repair my spear. Well, I'm repairing the spear. Oh, I've, I've killed one of them. See, I'm not taking a lot of damage from these. Once we go to much bigger carnivore type prey, um, we'll take a lot more damage. Right, there, there will be a lot more damage from um, the, the, the whole carnivore type things. Right, we will go here. We've leveled up. We just grab that one and grab that one as well. There. There's another 60 odd hide. And. Oop, I didn't mean to whistle. Not that there's anything within range. There. Okay, I've, I've now got loads and loads of stuff. So we will dump off all of this meat here. I'll dump the fish. I've got no use for fish. I might actually keep a little bit of the meat. We keep 60 of them. And then we've got a whole load of these now. I've got one, two, three. I've got well over a thousand pieces of hide. That ought to be enough. That ought to, that, that ought to be enough to, to make what we want to make. I think it's time for us to head back home. We're going to go and find our wonderful companion. I'm going to swim through the piranha infested waters. Where are the piranhas? Piranha infested waters with no piranhas. And I, I'm literally, I'm, I'm completely covered in blood at the moment as well. And it doesn't seem to have made any difference whatsoever. The other thing I wanted to look at was this one. Not like that. Right click. Right, so. There, I got a, a, a wild female pteranodon over there. I'm, I'm sort of looking up through there. You can see up round there. You can, oh, so you, you can actually see what it is. Right there. Carbonimus. Up there. Can you zoom? I, I don't know if you can zoom in or not. And then I got that dude over there. Look at the colour on that thing. I, gen I genuinely love the colour on him. I think he's absolutely gorgeous, that colour on it. Right, well, never mind the colours for now. Let's um, supply another level up. There we go. So we're now 106% on our speed. We're going to run a little bit faster than we were. We'll ignore the rest of them. We've got loads of hides. We've got a little bit of meat. Uh, my raptor's not actually being attacked over here, is he? Where is my raptor? He should be able to defend himself. I know those birds there that... And Ichthyornis stole your raw meat. Come here, Ichthyornis. Have another go. There. You killed an Ichthyornis. Level 20. So then, if I go like that... Chop him up. 42 pieces of hide. Uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A bunny egg. I'm guessing this is some kind of Easter event. Bunny eggs. Come here, you. A level 36 trilobite. We'll have that because that's um, the whole silica things. There's another bunny egg there. Where's the... Where's, where's... Oh. A bunny dodo. Look. A bunny dodo right there. This, this, this would be the Easter event. This would be, well, what is a bunny egg? Let's, let's have a look. What does a bunny egg do? Put it in a cooking pot. Craft. And unfortunately, folks, I'm going to have to interrupt things here. I think we could do with a little break. The dinosaurs, they can be a bit much sometimes. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.